All right, here is a uh, tutorial on chart patterns that can explode your trading. All right. So trading foreign exchange on margin carries a high level of risk may not be suitable for all investors before deciding to trade foreign exchange. You should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience and risk appetite. The possibility exists that you could sustain a loss of some or all of your initial investment. Therefore, you should never invest money you cannot afford to lose. Be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek the advice of an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. So never go into the charts looking for a trade. Go look for market structure and then find the wide open space okay it's going to be important as we go along here so chart patterns they are very powerful additions to your trading and they are part of market structure they give you the heads up on what to look for they are precursors to anticipated movements and as such are showing the evolution of price action within the current structure in other words they help us identify probability and remember we trade probability, okay? So why we like them? Well, when a pattern sets up, all professional traders know how to trade them. They have a statistical high probability and therefore when the pattern breaks, hundreds of thousands of traders enter those trades, all right? And that creates momentum and the ProAct charts will capture that momentum via a white dot or a painted candle and arrow on the 10 minute Royal Flush template. So I'll give you an example of that. Without candles showing momentum entering on other charts, could you see this? So over here on the left, you can see there is a regular old chart. Looks pretty blah over there. The exact same period, June 22nd at 8.50 a.m. Over here, we have a white dot and we have a, a arrow and painted candle. That's the momentum candle as the market's pushing away from here, okay? So what's the result of that? As you can see over here on the other charts, they tell you, stall out, stall out, you're going, you're not going anywhere, look out. All right, over here, what do we get? Two clear entries, both with white dots, both with uh, momentum candles. And that move right there went 60 pips with two clear uh, opportunities to trade it right there. <clears throat> That's what we mean by momentum. To our knowledge, we're the only people in the world who have figured out how to find and depict momentum on charts, all right? So which patterns do you look for? All of them are great, but these are the most powerful for us in the Forex. Bear and bull flags, and of course the simple flag pattern, which is call also called a rectangle. Ascending and descending wedges and triangles are also very strong. So let's look at them. Uh, first, just a sampling of patterns, and then there, are, of course, there are more, but here's a Saturn, uh, sampling of patterns that you need to know. There are 14 of them up here, right? You have to practice each and every one of these, okay? So let's look at the most prevalent for us in the Forex, okay? So Here's a bull flag, okay? This is come, this little thing right here comes from chartpatterns.com telling you that in a bull flag, uh, a bull flag in an uptrend, it breaks to the north. So this pattern says we're going to break to the north, all right? So there's the result. It breaks to the north, and you can see our signal right there even before it broke out right there. See that? All right, now here's a bear flag to the south, okay? So there's what chart pattern says it's going to do right there. It breaks to the south. So it says it breaks to the south, so take them at their word, all right? So there it is. Note our signal, and the result is a downward move. And, of course, this one went one, two, three, four, almost five pip, five T30s, almost 150 pips. So not too bad. So typically, the distance of the flagpole going into the flag will equal the distance out. So it's a great target. You know it. All you got to do is measure it, and don't click out for five pips. So here you go. You measure how did you get in from this top down to the bottom of the flag, okay? When you finish the flag, whatever this is right over here is what it's going to do over here. And you can see that's exactly what they did. Whatever that is usually equals this over here, all right? Now, now that you know that, the pole trade is the first trade to actually learn, all right? It's based on the rectangular pattern. All right, so here's the rectangular, a pole trade, all right? I want you to notice that part of the break of the flag is statistically always a break, hook, and go. A break, hook, and go, all right? So how do we figure it out? Well, this is the flag part, and this is the pole part. The pole trade is called that because we measure the pole to find the target, all right? So here you go, here's the flag, 
right there, sideways movement, right? So whatever you did going into that is what you're going to do coming out up here, all right? Here's one to the downside, okay? So you simply measure from the top to the bottom of the to the top of the flag, from the top of the movement here, and whatever that is is what it's going to do down here, all right? So most traders here will get five pips. The, the trader who's clued into the pole trade will get whatever it is, 40, 50, 80, 100, whatever it is going into that flag, all right? Now here's a descending wedge, okay? Here's what it looks like on chart patterns, okay? So the pattern says that this will break to the downside, okay? So here's the result. As you can see, we get a signal right here, and the result is a downward move, right? So you see, when the money comes in to make the pattern happen, right, on the breakout, what do we see? We see our, our momentum indicators capture that momentum to the downside. You can also see right here the break hook and go candle goes down these go up and eventually it takes off and goes this way this is also why there's no hurry in the forex as you can see right here if you count them this is on a 10 minute chart one two three four the fifth candle is the one it went that's 50 minutes so there's no hurry in the forex folks here's an ascending wedge okay the ascending wedge from chart pattern says it's going to break to the upside so here it is right here pattern says it's going to break to the north okay so here we go all right, what did it do? It broke to the north, and you see what we do? We get a break, a hook, and you see the signal where the money comes in driving it. See that? So let's take a look at symmetrical triangles now. Symmetrical triangles do this, all right? They look like this, and uh, it's because what has happened is that the, there's a lot of indecision, but somebody has to make that decision, and the guy who makes that decision is obviously a banker manipulating the money market. So uh, chart patterns tells us that in a downward market, this will break to the downside. Okay, you see we got in from down, up there going down, all right? So it's going to break to the downside. Wow, there's the result. Notice our signal, an arrow and a painted candle straight down. See that? Here's a symmetrical triangle to the upside, okay? So we got in this going up. Here's the symmetrical triangle breaks to the upside. It says it's going to break north, all right? Here's the result. Once again, notice our signal, bright neon green as it breaks out of that symmetrical triangle. So there you go. So how do you learn them? All right. It takes a minimum of 300 images in your brain's database to recognize them. So you have to draw each pattern manually all at one time in the charts that many times. But it then takes 24 hours to create a retrieval system to access the brain's database. What does that mean? That means that you do one pattern on one day, all 300 of them, and then you take one day off before starting another pattern, okay? So that takes 48 hours to do one pattern. These patterns tell you what to look for next, what you want to do is wait for your signal on the break of the pattern or just before the pattern breaks if you've recognized it, right? Watch for the break, hook, and go, which tells you enough participants are here to complete the move. We're going to see the break, hook, and go on the next slide. So here you can see here, what do we got? We have a, we have a rectangle or a flag. This is the pole, all right? So when it breaks out, you can see right here, we do a break and a hook, and there's the momentum candle telling you we're, we have enough participants to drive it away from there. See, if you don't have enough participants, you can see a false breakout like over here, one, two, three, where they tried to break and went straight back up in, tried to break, went straight back up in, tried to break, went straight up back in. That's what you don't want because this is called, I just got stopped out. So there you go. So now to my knowledge, I don't know any other uh, charting company who has figured out how to find that momentum candle. But that alone is worth the price of admission at ProEct Traders, okay? All right, so off you go, 300 of each. 48 hours to do each pattern. There's, four, there's 14 patterns, so it takes 28 days to do your pattern work. All right? There is no hurry in the Forex, and you can't learn the Forex in three weeks, so get that out of your head. All right, have fun.